Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. A couple of days ago the Google Drive team announced a few different updates to Google Sheets and they both have to do with charts so I'm going to cover both of those here. So the first has to do with the ability to add a trend line to your chart. So this can be added to scatter plots, bar columns, and line graphs. So I'm going to show you an example using a scatter plot. So after you've created your chart you can click into this drop down here and select advanced edit. Then make sure you're in the Customize tab, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this option here to add a trend line. So you can choose between linear and an exponential trend line, and there's a couple of options here for, for customization. So you can give it a custom label, you can change the color, you can change the opacity, and you can change the thickness. So trend lines are a really great tool, especially in scatter plots for showing trends in data. And a cool thing that I noticed that I had never actually seen before in action was what happens when you change your data and how it's reflected in the chart. So if I take out this row here that may for some reason be an outlier and I want to remove it, I'll delete this row. You can see the chart automatically changes. You can see the change in the trend line as well. So I can add that line back in and see the difference there. The next update is the ability to copy and paste a chart from one sheet to another or one spreadsheet to another. So I'll go back and click on the drop down again, select copy chart, and if I go over here into another tab, I can just paste that in here and add it into this sheet. So if you're using it within the same spreadsheet, as long as you make changes to the data, the chart will be updated no matter where it is inside that spreadsheet. But if you paste the chart into another spreadsheet, it will only reflect the values that you had when you first pasted it. So that's just something to keep in mind. So that's all I have for these couple of updates to Google Spreadsheets and Charts. If you have any questions about this update, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.